Breaking news, new information from Nellis Air Force Base on the F-16 jet that crashed just over 12 hours ago. Officials say that jet went down at the Nevada Test and Training Range. Good evening, I'm Marie Mortera. And I'm Jim Snyder. Nellis Air Force Base just confirmed about an hour ago a Thunderbirds pilot was killed during a training flight. Newsweek's Christy Wilcox is live at Nellis on what's a devastating night for everyone at the base and for our entire community. We take a lot of pride in this team. Certainly is a dev devastating night for everybody. So far, Nellis Air Force Base officials have been very tight lipped. They say it's an open investigation. This all started around 1030 this morning when we got the news and late this evening, like you said, it was confirmed that the pilot in an F-16 fighting Falcon died. Uh, we have other a few other details. According to officials, a Thunderbird pilot was killed in the F-16 as it crashed over the Nevada test and training range. That's what they're telling us so far. This happened during a routine aerial demonstration is what we're told. According to the Thunderbird website, eight of 12 officers assigned to the team are highly experienced fi uh, fighter pilots. Each Thunderbird uh, serves about two years on the tour. And right now we're hearing that the Thunderbirds team participation in the March Field Air and Space Expo has been canceled. Uh, they are in, uh, unsure so far how this will um, impact their season this year. Reporting live, Christy Wilcox, News 3. All right, Christy, thank you for that. And we will be working to get more information about this crash investigation in the overnight hours. We'll have another update for you tomorrow morning on News 3 Today. They get started at 4 a.m.